Hi. So it's just about that season outside where it's getting kind of cold. It's, I think, currently probably 45 or 50 degrees outside. Um, I don't feel like eating cold food right now, so come make some mac and cheese with me. So right here, we're going to melt some butter. I think I have three tablespoons. And then we're going to add some flour, and this is going to make a roux. It'll help our mac and cheese thicken up. We want our roux to um, simmer for a little bit so it cooks out the floury taste. And then we're adding our half and half in our milk. And then we're going to let that boil for probably two to three minutes. That'll thicken up. And now we add our spices. I think I have here garlic powder, onion powder, curly seasoning, and um, cayenne pepper. I like my mac and cheese a little spicy, so I added a little bit more cayenne pepper. And then for our cheeses, I have sharp cheddar, pepper jack, and mozzarella. Use whatever cheeses you want, as long as they're soft cheeses and they can be shredded. Pro tip, don't use feta cheese. I've tried that, and it is disgusting. And I've cooked the macaroni already, so we're going to add that in. And then we put it in this 9 by 11 per greased pan. And we're going to add some more cheese on top. I had some extra cheese. Feel free to use whatever cheese you want. Parmesan's good. And we're going to bake at 375 for about 20 minutes. You'll know when it's done when the cheese is bubbly and crispy on top. And we're going to slice it open and hopefully we get a good cheese pull. Okay, so that cheese pill definitely could have been better. I'll probably add more cheese or less macaroni, but there you go. 